What's up, y'all? I'm going to give y'all some quick tips on installing O2 sensors. You can see here's one of the old O2 sensors out of my truck. And this thing, I mean, you can see it's got carbon and stuff all on it. And it's worn out. I mean, you can't visually tell it's worn out, but it's thrown a code. And I took it out and tried to clean it with carb cleaner. And yeah, that didn't work. So, I mean, it's worth a shot because they're like, you know, 50 bucks a pop, 70, 80, 90, 100 dollars a pop. They're expensive. So, I got two new ones. Now, this is an upstream sensor. And of course, you have two upstream sensors, two downstream sensors. And the cat's in the middle. The catalytic converter's in the middle. So this is an upstream sensor, and there's one on each side. And those control the computer, and then the bottom two are for emissions. And it's a good idea to replace these things in pairs. So you can see I have two brand new ones right here. And you want to make sure to get a good brand. Don't get some cheap, you know, brand. But these ones right here are Denso O2 sensors, which is what this is, this exact same part number. So you want to make sure to get high quality O2 sensors. Now this is an 06 Silverado, but these things were stuck in there. I mean, they were stuck in the pipes. And I had to torque them like crazy to get them out. And you're going to need one of these O2 sensor removal kits, and it has various different sizes. But you can see how it works. It just slides right over the wire. And goes in there like that. And then you just torque on it to get it out. But they were smart enough to make them 3 8 drive. And you're going to need a breaker bar on there. So you have to try to configure something. Put a socket over it or something to get them out. Or a adjustable wrench and put a piece of pipe on it. Because, I mean, they will be stuck in there. Now the tips for installing these things is you're going to want dielectric grease for sure. You're going to want some anti-seize which is in these. It comes with them and I don't know if they all come with it but you can see the little tube of anti-seize right there. And that is a must. That is the most important thing to install in these things. You got to put anti-seize on them because you'll never get them back out. Now this is copper anti-seize and you're going to want to make sure to coat the threads of the new one. Right here you're going to want to make sure to coat the threads all the way around because if that thing gets stuck back in there and you know it goes bad or whatever within the warranty and you got to take it out or you got to replace it in the future or you sell the truck, you know, whoever gets it is going to hate you because you didn't put any anti-seize on it. So definitely, definitely, definitely put anti-seize on there. Now that's way more than you need because I mean they give you one in each box so that's way more than you need so you got some left over but that is very important. Now another thing that's really important is this connector right here. I mean they're pretty well waterproofed but you're going to want to make sure to put some dielectric grease down in here. and on the connector on the truck or car because you don't want water wicking down there throwing the sensor off and uh, yeah I mean it's quick and easy you just slap it on there and you know plug it back together but it's really important to have the grease in there so that you don't get any corrosion down in the connectors you can get this at any auto parts store I'll put a link in the description where y'all can find this stuff on Amazon the new O2 sensors you know, some tools to get the O2 sensors out and this dielectric grease. But I just got a huge bottle because I'm always working on stuff. And, you know, I like to be really thorough when it comes to electrical stuff so that you don't have any problems in the future. But a little bit of this grease would go a long way. I mean, this would probably last me years. It's a ton of grease in here. But you can just get the little packets they have hanging next to the checkout at the auto parts store. That'll work just as well. But, yeah, just coat the end of it where the connectors are and just a little bit of grease I mean just put some on your finger and you know rub it on there and put some down in the connector and then coat it here coat the other connector and get you a little bit around this seal because you want a good seal on there but yeah when you reinstall them just make sure to use the torque wrench and you know torque them down to what they're supposed to be I think it's like 30 foot-pounds for my truck 
because that's really important so that they don't get stuck in there too. Don't just crank on them. You want to make sure that it's torqued down to the proper spec so that it doesn't get stripped out or you know broken off in there. Another good tip is to disconnect your battery and leave it disconnected while you're doing this so that it resets the computer if you're throwing any uh, codes because this truck's throwing an O2 sensor codes and hopefully they'll reset when I get my new one installed so disconnect your battery and change them out and then hook the battery back up and go drive for a little bit and it hopefully should reset itself now when you're installing these things you want to make sure to never ever touch any of that right here this metal part don't ever touch any of that don't touch the end of it don't touch any of it and you don't want to get any of that grease the anti sees you don't want it to get on this you want to make sure you coat it maybe leave it down a little bit and coat it you know down more towards this way more but you don't want to get any of that crap on here because it'll mess it up I mean these things are really sensitive you want to make sure you don't drop them you know don't touch them don't get grease on them don't get dirt on them don't get sand on them don't get hair on them you know take it out of the package coat that thing in grease and stick it right in the hole and tighten it down. It's really important you don't touch it. So yeah, y'all. Just a couple of quick tips for doing O2 sensors. It's really easy. I mean, it's not that hard. The hardest part is getting the things out. That's the hardest part. I mean, you know, once you get them out, then you just swap them out. It's no big deal. Just make sure to handle them with care and just stick them in there and get them nice and tight. Thanks for watching, y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Also, check the description out because I'll put links to all this stuff on Amazon where you can find it much cheaper than the parts store. The removal tools, the O2 sensors, you know, the dielectric grease, maybe some anti-seize. That way you don't have to go searching all over the place for it. Later.